In this Photoshop tutorial, you'll learn to use uh, gradients and textures to create uh, wooden objects. Okay, first we'll start off with a uh, creating a wooden bowl, and we'll do that with uh, uh, gradients and uh, wood texture. I'll just show you how I use the oval tool and the gradient tool to create a uh, linear gradients and there there's three that I have to fill here and I'll just use the the one I already done as a background just to make it quick here and they're all linear gradients on the wooden bowl Uh, we'll use the uh, oval tool to create the bottom of the uh, bowl. The top has to be um, uh, deselected. I'll show you that in a sec. Let's go back to the, to rectangular and I think it's press the ALT key and deselect the top and we just need to go to the transform and make sure they're uh, lined up nice and neat on both sides and we just fill a gradient in with that one and merge, merge those three layers down. Let's blur, add a blur or blur more uh, just to smooth the uh, edges a, li a little bit. And put it to multiply for that layer use the magic wand and go down to the texture layer and press delete and we have the wooden bowl and you can play around with the opacity I'll turn it down just a little bit now for the wooden bat um, we'll do the same thing, just use it. Um, well, we have to make an outline first and use the magic wand to uh, select the areas where we will put the gradients, and they'll be reflected gradients. Have to reverse it until it looks right. right about there and then the bottom another re reflected gradient and it should blur that the same thing. Uh, click the uh, background with the magic wand and press delete on the texture layer and on the gradient layer you put, um, put it to multiply. Okay the mallet is pretty much the same thing with an outline you start out with and you add the gradients um, to reflected gradients and to uh, linear gradients. 
and then you um, do the same thing with the texture layer and you get the same thing okay the wooden spoon um, same thing outline layer and you fill the outline in with the gradients and same thing with it with the texture finally we'll do a wooden box a little bit more complex uh, outline and uh, I think they're all li linear gradients and the same thing cutting out with the uh, wood texture <laughs> 